The following video demonstrates a typical remote support session using Radix Netpoint Manager with an Android device as a client. In this video, the server is located on the Amazon Cloud, the support console, the administrator, is in Europe, while the customer is using their tablet in South America. The architecture is flexible and can be adjusted to suit the service provider, the manufacturer, or the project needs. On the left side of the console screen, you'll find the different groups and users. Groups can be created automatically or manually according to your specific needs and preferences. Along the top bar, you'll find the common tools needed in an everyday support session or to perform mass devices updates and management. Along the bottom of the screen, you can see the task history. Here you can follow the status of every command delivered to a device or a group of devices. The center of the screen is where everything happens. Arrange the layout of the various windows and tabs to suit your preferences. Simply drag the tabs and align them next to each other, or group them one behind the other, whatever you find most comfortable to work with. Here, you can see two one-to-one -one remote control sessions tabbed on the left side, while the rest of the tabs are grouped on the right. A remote session can be initiated by the remote user or by the administrator. In this video, our remote session was initiated by the administrator and starts with a one-to-one -one remote screen control of the Android device. As you can see, the administrator freely remotely browses and navigates the device screen. The user of the device can still watch and follow, or even co-navigate the screen alongside the administrator to show him the problem. The administrator will now start using NetPoint's advanced tools to manage the device. In our case, the administrator opens a remote SSH connection with the device and runs Linux commands, just as he would have if he was connected via USB or the local network. NetPoint opens a secure tunnel to the remote device. This way, the administrator can run ADB commands remotely or even run an application from the administrator's own Eclipse screen in debug mode on remote devices. Now, the true added value of Radix NetPoint Manager is revealed. Once a secure tunnel is established, then the sky's the limit as to what you can actually do remotely. NetPoint allows Remote File Explorer as well as copying files to and from remote devices in one-to-one -one sessions or to a group of devices. Managing Wi-Fi connections is easy with NetPoint. Simply create a new Wi-Fi entry in the Wi-Fi network bank list. Include the SSID and password and immediately add it to a device or a group of devices. The new network is not only immediately added to the list of permitted networks on the remote device, but also auto-connects. Displaying a list of installed packages can be done easily by selecting the Package tab. Package information includes the install date, package size, version details, directory, and more. You can also create and install software packages. Simply create a new package by uploading the APK file. Then all you have to do is select the package from a list and it will be remotely distributed and installed on the selected device or group of devices. A package can include more than one APK file, a list of Linux commands, and even complex scripts. As you can see, our remote device now has Angry Birds installed. NetPoint Manager is an essential tool for every manufacturer, system provider, project administrator, or anyone managing a fleet of Android or Windows devices. For more information, visit our website. Thanks for watching.